Welcome to the new episode of Probably Nothing, the IOTA and Shimmer news of the last few days. First up, Soon Labs kicks things off with the Soon Token reward article. The Soon Token liquidity mining program launched with the free pools on IOTA B, W Soon with W Myota, W Soon with W BTC and W Soon with W ATH. 8 million Soon tokens will be allocated to each pool over a 3 year period and encourage users to provide liquidity for the new Soon token pairs. Rewards will be distributed on a weekly basis. The program will launch with the Shima EVM of course, but you can test it at earlyb.iotab.com. Virtue finally posted documentation about their project. There are 9 categories where you can read more to understand the whole thing better. For example, the staking, borrowing and the rewards. Genie's bounty is back online and can be tested again to your heart's content. Those who want to drone their gambling addiction can let off steam here. At the moment, the general mood in the community is at an all-time low, just like the courses. Resentment is spreading negative comments everywhere. In certain major telegram channels, it is as toxic as it has been for a long time, while the project is doing better than ever before. One of the big problems is the lack of ETAs, which means estimated time of arrival. In the past, for example, the IOTA Foundation or its employees said Module A will arrive in two weeks. Everyone was happy, but after two weeks there was no Module A. The module arrived three months later and everyone was angry. It came as it had to come. The ETAs were removed by popular demand, since one can plan badly and did not want to strain the community too much. All were happy. Sometime later voices got louder than ETAs are needed, because nobody can really plan and time is money. So it came in Discord to discussions one would have to pull everything out of their IOTA foundation to get the ETAs. Long speech short sense, internally they are now discussing whether to reintroduce ETAs after all, but then don't complain if they don't apply. Update on Shima EVM. Dom wrote the following. If everything goes well, we could expect Shima EVM in free for weeks. This is what he wrote on the 12th of August. Of course this is not a fixed time, because if tests or bugs come out or the tests reveal further problems, the EVM can be postponed. So this is not a time that is set in stone. This statement had also caused a furor. Some are happy, some react toxically, you can't please anyone. Of course, it would be great to finally have the EVM in time, but this EVM must then also run perfectly. Imagine the EVM is started and it goes wrong, then the screaming of the community will be big again. Build5 welcomes a new member, Benjamin Bönig. Benjamin will bring his expertise in businesses development, acquisitions and opportunities in IoT related B2B and B2C to Build5 Association and the Build5 platform. He is currently Vice President Digital Products and Services at Eto Group and will help execute Build5 strategy. On the 16th of August, IOTA B tweeted that they had a successful farming test with the community. This test has been carried out to full satisfaction and gives good hope. On the same day, Soonlabs published an article that they have finally gone open source. All preparations are finally completed. The step is to help the platform to have a wider reach. There are more APIs and the development is managed by task forces. The sixth round of assembly staking is over. 51% of all IOTA was staked for it and 938 million ISMB was distributed. It is not yet known when the seventh and thus penultimate round will begin. As always, there will be certainly be a week lead time and of course you'll find out here or on Twitter. Kova is tearing the promotional drum again. He introduces AppWorks, IOTA and Shimmer. He was also invited by the Taiwanese Minister of Digital Affairs to present IOTA. His 45 minutes talk resulted in a one hour Q&A. A new project seems the light of day. We haven't had that in a while. Tanglex. This is about liquid mining. It is still quite mysterious. The only thing that helps us is a Google Docs. There should be a stablecoin TXD and SXD. If you do liquid mining, you get TXT. 
tokens. There is not much interesting in the document. There is a lot of advertising about how great the protocol is or will be. However, only the future will show whether the promise can be kept. A website does not exist yet. If it is invited in the white paper to visit this, who stands behind this project is also not yet known. For this time being to enjoy with caution. Deeper Finance also experiments a lot with the new updates of Shima EVM and could work despite a successful spam attack. Nakama Labs was responsible for this spam attack. In general, Shima EVM is being used and tested properly again. This can also be seen from the graph here. This is a snapshot from the 23rd of August. The IOTA Foundation has long been planning a new campaign articles and videos to represent and explain IOTA Do.O and certainly Shima. Philo has commented on this in Discord. This campaign will probably be worked on for more than 4 months with very high quality material. Will Ficon ask TanglePay when the messenger will finally be available and TanglePay answered clearly, 4th quarter. Jonas Theis has updated his long list for IOTA 2.0. There is good progress, but it takes time that many need to understand. Just to leave the IOTA bubble for a moment, I found a great tweet. If you stopped following Bitcoin six years ago and returned today, you wouldn't have to spend a single second catching up. In the true sense, nothing has changed at all. Zaharov has found a new patent in the US database of the ETO group. This is the delineator we already know about and will soon start in a test environment in Germany. Benjamin Bönisch said that it will be tested this fall in a 13 km long track in Friedrichshafen. IOTA Heroes posts an update. You can now train several heroes at once, which makes things easier for many heroes. At the same time, Audit 1 is testing the new smart contracts again. Another small great information is on Discord from Jela. When asked if the IOTA identity will appear on Firefly, he replied that he can't speak for the Firefly team, but will have their wallet identity based on IOTA identity and that next month. Last but not least, Build5 published an article by S3 titled The 100 Trillion Pass to Adoption. In it, Build5 goes into the tokenization of the market and their solution with APIs and tools. There's also a video where they use digital twins to solve this problem. Let's move on to the updates. Hornet is now available as version 1.2.8, also the pre-release version 2.0 RC8, Firefly IOTA reaches 2.15 and Firefly Shimmer 1.7.3. Here Stronghold is updated, don't forget to do it. That's it for this episode of Probably Nothing. Don't stay too grim, smile more and enjoy the good weather. If you're already grumpy, don't use the internet too much because it will make you even sadder. Keep it light, keep an open mind.